All right, Derek on the left and Scott on the right. So Derek's going to be advancing. I want Scott to stay. We started an outside range, but I wanted to pretty much stay in the kicking range, but nothing happens. He's just evading uh, Derek's kicks, punches, or forward steps. Every three steps, you're going to stop Derek, and that gives Scott the opportunity to administer a kick. He's going to be in kicking range. He shouldn't be able to reach with the punches. Do that to the end. Once you feel you're at the end by the wall, Scott, stay at the wall. And then as uh, Derek advances three times, you meet the force with the kick. All right, go ahead nice and slow. There's three, two, one. And then he, Derek stops. He gets tired and receives a kick from Scott. And he might be punching or kicking. doesn't matter. And then the kick's there. So... Scott's job is to be ready for those kicks and stay in that kicking range as soon as there's an opportunity when he stops. Now he's going to start hitting the wall, so he's going to wait for the advancement of Derek. Derek's going to go out, go in. He's going to meet those kicks. You're going to use the wall as your friend for power. All right, and time.